Hi, my name is Bart Parnell, and I'm back talking about something that I think is interesting. Uh, I hope that you find it interesting as well. Recently, I've been thinking a lot about a particular set of content that I've taught before in the past and that I think are especially relevant today. If you are working from home uh, every day, uh, some of the time, occasionally, you are dealing with this modern hybrid work-life balance that we're, that we're all struggling with right now. Organizationally, businesses are trying to figure out how to address this, how to help people be healthy, happy at work and at home, um, oftentimes in this crazy collision of both a professional and personal life. Right? We see uh, examples of people you know, having to create office spaces in their world and their home, uh, dealing with pets on calls, kids walking in, interrupting them, uh, everybody asking you to do something because you're home and you're not at work. And so we have this crazy intersection of everything that's going on. At the same time, people are recognizing that they have more time for exercise, for going on a walk at lunch, spending time with friends, family, uh, partners. And I think that this intersection or collision, I'm calling it collision because I think it's a little messy still, is causing a lot of problems for some people. So the two pieces of content that I think are especially relevant are Franklin Covey's Big Rock, right, the Big Rock Theory, and then Q2 Thinking. So before I get into that, I want to address a little bit about um, my personal philosophy and why I think these things are relevant. I don't have never liked the description of work-life balance. Because when you think of balance, right, we've got these perfectly weighted scales with, you know, blind justice and just enough in each that it, that it weights out equally. Well, we know that personal life and professional life aren't always equally balanced uh, in terms of resources, time, energy. It doesn't work out that way, right? And so we get ourselves into the stressful situations trying to segment our lives. You know, I start work at this time and then I end work and then I go do my f personal things or maybe I squeeze it in at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. before my, my work day starts. And it's this separation that is causing a great deal of stress and anxiety for people. So instead, I like to coach people to think about work-life integration or personal professional integration. And what this means is instead of thinking these are my goals as a professional person and these are my goals as a person – Let's bring those things together because ultimately what you do personally make you a better professional and how you develop yourself professionally makes you a better person. And so they should be integrated, not separated. So think about that integration as we talk about these two theories or these two concepts from Franklin Covey. So the big rock, if you haven't seen the video or heard of Covey's big rocks, go to YouTube, just Google Covey big rock and you'll see a whole bunch of different videos people describing. Um, there's, there are fun ones. There are, you know, really early ones from, you know, Covey doing this himself, uh, you know, with, with customers and with people that they were, when they were demonstrating this concept. But the theory is our life can only contain so much as hard as you try sleeping less and less and less to get more done will only carry you so far. Human beings are not infinite energy machines. We have to be mindful about how we expend our energy. So if you've got a bucket and you've got big rocks and you also have everything else, which he calls gravel, it's all these little bits and pieces. If you deal with all the urgent, crazy, you know, flying in your face things, you don't usually have time for the big rocks, the big priorities, because you're so busy taking care of all the rest of the stuff. If you put those big rocks first into your space, you usually find way to get done all of those other little things that are important along the way. Right? And so you think about this email, text messaging, side chat conversations, other stuff that maybe prevent us from taking on our big rocks. And so we think about big rocks, putting those things first. It allows us to prioritize professionally and personally. So I say, again, don't separate them. What are your personal goals? What are your professional goals? And how do they support each other? And then how do you integrate them into your day in the right way? The other way of thinking about this is, is Covey's Q2 thinking. So we think about... Uh, a chart or, or a matrix, right? The Q2 quadrant are things that are really important. They're strategy, they're creative thinking, but they're not necessarily urgent. This is where you do your best work. But oftentimes we're caught up in the urgent, not important stuff. So if you're thinking about big rocks and then important and not urgent and how these blend together for an integrated lifestyle, I'll give you an example. I suffered a severe head trauma when I was 21, and I've told the story several times over the last week, so this is where it's kind of relevant for me. As a result of that violent assault and everything that I suffered from anxiety, depression, the head trauma, the physical recovery, the emotional, mental recovery, the cognitive recovery, everything that I had to deal with, 
the first year and a half was very difficult for me. I got into running. My running became my sanity time. It's how I stayed healthy. So over the years, as I look at professional opportunities, when I interview with people, one of the, some of the things that I think about as I'm interviewing and talk to people about is making sure that I have the availability to pursue those physical goals that give me energy to be a better professional. Uh, and so as I plan my day, as I think about my goals and physical goals that keep me happy, healthy, sane, um, I make time for those things in my day. And I don't separate my day in professional and personal time. I look at my day and say, what are my big rocks from both parts of that? And where do I layer them in throughout my day? Now, that has changed depending on the time, the season, whether I'm training for a big event, or I'm just in maintenance for, for, for kind of an off-season. And it's important for you to be thinking about how you do the same. So I'll give you a couple of tips that I think are especially relevant. First of all, what are your big rocks? You have to identify them. For me, exercise is a big rock. I have to have time every day. Now, if I'm in a train, if I'm teaching and training all day or in a coaching situation or if I'm traveling, I have to be really creative on where I fit that in. If at my home office, I'm working from home, it makes it easier for me to do that. I look at a block, I've got a, I, a space in between a couple of meetings, I can go out for a quick run or I can lift weights real quick. So I, but if I don't have that top of mind, if I'm not planning for it, have a place for it, it's very easy for that time and place to get filled up with other stuff. The second part of that is obviously planning. So as you're looking at your calendar, I live and die by my calendar. I have to stay sane that way. And so when I plan early in the morning or if I look at my day at the end of the day or I'm thinking about the next day, I look for when am I going to get those big rocks in? When am I going to exercise? When am I going to spend some time doing personal development in terms of skill sets that are important to me from a work perspective but maybe are not critically important on tasks that I'm doing today? So this is looking down the road. Um, where do I put those things? Because I know as I spend time on those things, I'm going to have more energy for the important work tasks that I have to do. And then the finally, I would say, is be flexible. You know, I try my best to plan my day and say, this is when I'm doing these meetings, and this is when I'm going to coach, and this is when I'm going to train, but things happen, and urgent priorities pop up. And so if it's on my calendar and something has come in quickly that I need to address, I can look at my calendar in those blocks, those big, those big rocks, and I can shift them around. Sometimes I know I'm going to have to get up at 5 a.m. to get a run in. Sometimes I know I'm going to have free time at lunch and I'm going to go then because the sun is out and it's warm and I want to be outside. So if you think about how you are integrating this crazy collision of work and professional time, I would encourage you to think about what are those big rocks. Right, focus on those because that's your Q2 time. That's where you're going to develop yourself the most and you're going to get really, really good work done. Plan it, be thoughtful about where you put those spaces and how those activities either build your energy or take away from your energy because you want to make sure that is building for energy for your important work and professional tasks. And then finally, be flexible. Understand that no day is perfect. Sometimes I don't get up to a workout and I just know, like, hey, that's just the way it went today but I'm going to do better tomorrow and make sure that I've got that thought out, uh, ahead of time. So that's my advice for today in this crazy intersection of hybrid work and the things we're going through. I hope you found it useful. I'd be interested in your comments, uh, questions. If you have any uh, thoughts about this, please reach out, make a comment. I hope you have a great day and a great weekend.